Greetings and peace to you. I hope you're well and in good health. Keep a sober mind and in spiritual equilibrium. Today we continue a recitation of the Sikh scriptures. A very interesting read thus far. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Ghost, create or blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. To fill the hearts which thou hast made. Ang 9 Listening, Truth, Contentment, and Spiritual Wisdom. Listening, Take Your Cleansing Bath at the 68 places of pilgrimage, listening, reading and reciting, honor is obtained, listening, intuitively grasp the essence of meditation. O Nanak, the devotees are forever in bliss, listening, pain and sin are erased. Listening, dive deep into the ocean of virtue. Listening, the sheikhs, religious scholars, spiritual teachers, and emperors. Listening, even the blind find the path. Listening, the unreachable comes within your grasp. O Nanak, the devotees are forever in bliss. Listening, pain and sin are erased. This constant refrain of listening, which presumably would require being still, it reminds me, I think in either chapter 11 or 14 of the prophet Jeremiah, it says, because you have insisted on wandering feet and your restless ways, now I will remember your sins, says the Lord. And so there's an interesting parallel between sitting still, being rooted, and thus presumably also being quiet, and the forgiveness of sins, and wandering, restlessness, and the remembrance of, or the manifestation of punishment for your sins in your life. So this is a, it's interesting that there's this parallelism. Um, I love the emphasis on listening. Much of the Desert Fathers and the mystical tradition of Christianity is rooted in, founded on, sitting still and being quiet. It says in the Book of Lamentations, I believe, chapter 3, it is good when a man is young or a person is young to sit alone and in solitude. Um, you know, it evokes King David and, and the shepherds, and, you know, a shepherd's main job is to sit, to watch, to listen. And so, there's just a very interesting text. Uh, Take your cleansing bath at the 68 places of pilgrimage. This sounds perhaps like a leftover from, from Hinduism. Uh, my understanding is that Sikhism broke off from Hinduism, became its own thing. 
And I know that the Hindu religion, they have a lot, a lot, a lot of shrines and statues that they pinch incense or offer blood offerings sometimes even to. Um, so I would be curious to know what exactly are the 68 places of pilgrimage Reading and reciting honor is obtained, uh, which is an encouragement for me as most of this channel, the primary thrust of this channel has been to recite, so people have in an audio form, um, great Christian classics on spirituality. Uh, of course, this is not a Christian or Catholic work. Based on interactions that I've had with people in my local area, it seemed appropriate, an appropriate step to make something like this available for people who are not familiar with Sikhism. As Westerners and as Christians, we are very unfamiliar still, even in this quote unquote modern age, with anything associated with the Orient, the Asiatic or Middle Eastern uh, religions, cultures, ways of thinking. So, this, this section, it says, listening, even the blind find the path. It reminds me of a scripture. He says, I will lead the blind by ways they know not. And of course, this is an invitation to faith, and faith comes by hearing, listening. So, very interesting um, parallel structures um, to the Hebrew and Christian scriptures. And uh, so far, outside of karma, which again I admit is not readily apparent to me what exactly is meant by that and whether or not there are different conceptions of that based on Sikhism, Hinduism, um, other religions that have come out or ancillary to. And then, of course, the mention of the beings that we've mentioned before, Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu, etc. Those are really so far the only two areas uh, where I would have a deep line of questioning um, everything else is either very beautiful or very well said poetically. Um, I love this, this little line here, listening, intuitively grasp the essence of meditation. Uh, it's very interesting to, to see something like that, that phraseology in a religious text, intuitively grasp the essence of meditation. Beautiful, beautiful. Listening, the unreachable comes within your grasp. Uh, in the scripture it says, uh, come to me and I will come to you. Approach near and I myself will draw near to you. Uh, also, I believe in the prophet Jeremiah uh, and elsewhere. This idea is alluded to. Uh, put away your vain imaginings. Put away your attachments to the world and seek me with your whole heart. And if you seek me with your whole heart, you will find me. Very beautiful. Well, that's all for today. God bless you. God love you. God's peace to you. Please pray for me as I pray for you.